What's going on YouTube? Ryan back from Dopamon again and the 2022 draft has come and gone and the Leafs selected five new players who will hopefully develop and play for their team. Uh, but who are these kids? What should we expect from them going forward? I'm here to break down each Leaf draft pick this year. Without further ado, we'll start with the 38th overall pick in round two, Fraser Minton. Fraser Minton, Kamloops Blazer in the WHL is 6 foot 1, 185 pounds, left-handed shot. Final stats from this year are 67 games uh, played, 20 goals, 35 assists for 55 points. So not too bad. To start the season, Minton was the third line center of the Kamloops Blazers behind Dallas Stars prospect Logan Stankoven and Minnesota Wild prospect Caden Bankier. This meant that he wasn't getting any top minutes, power play time, or maximum you know, ice time possible for his developmental season. A combination of Logan Stankoven going to the shortened World Junior Championship and an injury boosted Minton into a top six role and a power play role. The more ice time he got, the better he played, and he forced Kamloops to put Bankier on the wing now that Minton was the definitive second line center. So that explains some maybe underwhelming stats for Minton. He'll have an opportunity to really produce next season, especially that Cam Loops is a 2023 Memorial Cup hosts, so they'll want to surround him with as much support as possible. Minton's biggest strength is his playmaking and offensive abilities. He's had some pretty wicked assists this year and, a com and combined with, I'd say, above average shooting and skating ability, he's a good two-way game and uh, can throw the body a little bit round too. I really like this prospect and I'm excited to see what he does this upcoming season. In round three, 95th overall, the Leafs selected Nick Moldenhauer, a center right wing from the Chicago Steel, the USHL. He's 5'11", 175 pounds, right hand shot. Final stats this year in the USHL, in 41 games, he had 18 goals and 25 assists for 43 points. Personally, I think Nick Moldenhauer is an absolute steal at 95 overall. Uh, a freak and scary cut to his face left him with a scar that now essentially runs down the length of his face from his ear across his jaw is the reason I believe Moldenhauer ended up dropping in this year's draft. Uh, he, had, he had to get past that scary injury, both literally and mentally, which slowed it down his production a bit. And by the end of the season, he was absolutely flying. He struggles in transition right now, but once he gets into either the offensive or de defensive zone, he has the ability to make a lot happen. He's a great puck handler. He's crafty in the offensive and defensive zone who could project to a really good middle six winger if he continues to develop. In the fourth round, number 122 overall, Leaf select goaltender Dennis Hildeby from Faryastad, the SHL. He's six foot six and 234 pounds. He's a left hand catching goalie. He's a normal catching hand goalie. You don't see many right hand nowadays. In 12 games in the junior 20 program in Faryastad, he was six and five with a goals against average of 2.80 and a save percentage of 0.931 very very good save percentages and in the shl in the pro league we only played seven games up there we went three and two with a nine one nine three goals against average and again a 931 save percentage so he had an identical save percentage in any level he was uh, playing this year and one shutout to boot in the shl hildeby is a massive goaltender at six foot six and he's mobile on his feet and apparently the leafs goalie scout John Elkin pushed hard for this guy on draft day and the Leafs flipped fourth round picks in order to take him. He uh, was passed over twice in the draft before and is a 20 year old overager who will be exciting to watch at the SHL level next season. He should get some time at the pro level being a 20 year old now. The Leafs are generally good for a goalie pick per draft but haven't had many homegrown goalie success in a long time. So hopefully one of these guys picked in the last couple years will stick. The Leafs did sign Dennis Hill to be to a entry-level deal shortly after drafting him. In the fifth round at 135 overall, the Leafs selected Nikita Grabjonkin, right winger from Magnitogorsk in the MHL. 6'2", 183 pounds, left-hand shot in the MHL this year in 58 games. He had 17 goals, 47 assists for 64 points. 
So again, another assist guy, the, another overager drafted by the Leafs this year as well. He's definitely a flyer of a pick in, you know, round five is not a whole lot of upper end talent to go off of, but he's a competitive guy who has some playmaking ability and he had 47 assists in 58 games in the MHL level this season. So it'll be exciting to see where he goes from here. And finally, in the seventh round at 218th overall, the Leafs select Brandon Lazowski, a left winger from the Saskatoon Blades in the WHL. He's a smaller guy, he's 5'9", but he's 181 pounds, left-handed shot. In 68 games, he had 33 goals and 25 assists, 58 points in the WHL at Saskatoon. There are obviously huge questions, and a lot of guys that are like this have that have shown skill in the junior level, and then they can't get into the NHL, and they get phased out by the time they reach that NHL level. But... Here at 218th overall, why not take a flyer on him? He can obviously score goals at the WHL level. We'll see where he goes. That's it. Those are the five Leafs draft picks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. We got a whole lot of, whole lot of stuff coming out in the next little bit. The next big thing on the channel will be the World Juniors. The 2022 World Juniors that got canceled. Uh, are coming back for August 9th, I believe, is the first game. So we'll have all sorts of content revolving around uh, that tournament sooner, sooner or later. And we hope you stick around until then. Peace.